All right, hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna do something a little bit different. I'm just gonna kind of have a little bit of fun with this here today. We're gonna jump back and forth from my Black Hat HSA7 and my Skirvis and Shoggy down there. Um, for those of you that don't know, I just now received this guitar from Black Hat Guitars. I love it to death. It was approximately a thousand dollars less expensive than my Skirvison, which has up to this point been considered my favorite guitar. Um, part of why I spec them so closely was to get a chance to compare the pickups. So I feel like this will be a fairly good uh, opportunity to text the difference between these two pickup sets. On the Black Hat is a uh, a Ragnarok, a Bare Knuckle Ragnarok set, and on the Skirvison is a Bare Knuckle Warpig set. Um, both of them are big, somewhat bottom heavy pickups, but there are significant differences between the two. Uh, to sum it up, I would say that they have a very similar feel, but the Ragnaroks feel a little bit more controlled, they have a little bit more attack they feel a little bit less compressed. Um, but that's it, I really enjoy both of them and we'll see if you guys can hear the same things that I'm hearing. Yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. I'm playing my KSR Artemis, boosted by a uh, Reaper Pedals Pandemonium V3 Overdrive. Going through my KSR 2x12 and my Red 7 1x12. All that stuff will be in the description. Let's just go ahead and get into it. I'll probably jump over to my Cherry Tone at some point too. I'll let you guys know when I do that. Here we go.
super cool. Um, and hopefully you guys can hear that. Yeah, they're they are definitely similar sounding guitars and pickups. Um, but that said, like there is definitely a more than subtle feel and sound difference. But at the same time, they're definitely kind of in the same ballpark there. I definitely hear a little bit more attack and less compression out of this guitar. Let's jump over to my uh, Cherry Tone Leviathan and hear how that sounds. Uh, I went for a more saturated sound with this amp. And there we go, we kind of leave it at that. So um, yeah guys, straight up, um, I feel like I'm getting a little bit more note separation, a little bit more clarity and all that out of this guitar and the Ragnaroks over the War Pigs. Um, whereas uh, in some cases, some people will probably say you lose maybe a little bit more, maybe some aggressiveness, um, probably some sustain and everything that you would get out of the War Pigs over the Juggernauts. At the same time, y'all know the kind of stuff that I, I do, which is pretty much everything. I just I'm a metal fan, you know. I do like the gent and the prog and everything, but I like the thrash and the Iron Maidens and all that sort of stuff of the world just as much. 
for me personally, I think that playing this guitar, I find myself leaning more in the progressive, more modern, gentier things. Whereas playing the War Pigs, I find myself more comfortable on the earlier, the earlier side of things. Like definitely, I would feel more comfortable playing thrash metal on the Skirvison than I would on this guitar. Although they can both definitely do both. Um, but since I have the options, if I were to optimize the guitar I was going to use for the style I was going for, if I'm playing my super proggy, genty, start-stop metal type of stuff, I'm probably going to grab this guitar. Whereas I'll grab my Skirvison for a lot of that as well. But I feel like it would be best suited for the thrashier and death metal -ier stuff. Death metal -ier. What a word. Uh, but yeah, guys, hey, if you enjoyed this video, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and yeah, you guys take care. Let me know which ones you prefer down in the comments. Take care.